Well, it's too it's too early to tell, and 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 obviously it it will be a critical critical period for, frankly, the the Russian Ukrainian diplomacy and the uh, the role of France, as you say, if if um, presumably uh, uh, if. President Macron or or, or uh, his his opponent in the French election, uh, Marine Le Pen, win win the election. I'll hold my uh, my intellectual fire on that for for the moment. But I will say, Leo, that uh, as you and I have discussed uh, separately, President Macron's role uh, so far in serving as a as a mediator of sorts, and this is a very interesting process in terms of the kind of mediation that can take place in these, what I've called the ultimate negotiation that's happening right now uh, between between Ukraine and, and Russia, the negotiation that determines the survival of a country. There can be no higher level of a negotiation than that. I think it's a fascinating thing to observe uh, uh, Emmanuel Macron's role as a as a go between, who still keeps talking to President Putin, as did the Austrian uh, 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 Prime Minister uh, yesterday uh, directly. These are very insightful for us as students of mediation and negotiation. They are very insightful examples of the kind of go-between action that can take place. And this is actually going to be one of the things that we'll be discussing in, in our class where we'll have a Ukraine role play where there will be a mediator. And in fact, it will be an opportunity for students to actually put to practice the kinds of tools that uh, we discuss that Professor Alain Dampereur uh, and several co-authors, including myself, discuss in our in our new book. So I'm looking forward to the class.